Hey guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in stone. A funny and greatly told adventure game developed and published by Convict Games and is available to you for £12.49. So, we follow Stone, an Australian koala. Yes, not a human, he's a koala bear, as you could probably tell by the cover of the game. But he wakes up hungover out of his own ass, and boy, have we all been there. <laughs> Only problem is, we get a phone call saying our beloved partner is slightly not around. So now, we get to find out what really happened, and why, and how, and where the hell are you, Chucky? And, and that'll sort of make sense as you play through the game, by the way. Uh, but, as for achievements, a lot are story-related. There are a few missable ones, but can easily be done through chapter select at the end of the game. But they're so easy anyway, just following this guide will net you all achievements in around an hour and a half or so. It's a laid-back game, so it's not too fast, enabling you to hopefully keep up with the video in real time. So then, with all that done, and that being said, then, let us begin. Now, I must point out that a lot of this game does have an incredible amount of talking in it. So, you know, I'm obviously not going to be talking over the majority of the dialogue, enabling you to enjoy uh, the absolute story. Obviously, I'll only be sort of um, piping up when we're coming up to missable achievements or when we've got certain things to do. But, uh, yeah, you just enjoy yourselves. And here's the phone call, the dreaded call of death. Now, you're never gonna see Alex again. Wait, 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 who is this? Fuck! So, there we have it then. Our beloved has been kidnapped. And what the fucking shit is that? I know. Yeah, bit devastating, but there we are. So, uh, have a little look around the living room first. We need to go back to the door. Press A by the door, and it'll pick up his necklace. By the way, why do games and most films and things like that always make a uh, PI look like an alcoholic trash heap of pure scummery? Is that true? Is that I've never had to hire a PI in real life, but any PIs playing this game, let me know. Are you all... That good at your job, you can just allow you're allowed to be alcoholic, trashy men and women. I I don't know. <laughs> Either way, just head into the kitchen. We're waiting for a phone call basically now, so we can have a little smoke in the kitchen. And by the way, this doesn't do anything to like enhance the gameplay or for achievements or anything, but I think I thought it was a very cool little feature seeing a koala bear take a smoke. So there is the phone call. So head into the bedroom, answer the phone. And with dialogue options, usually they don't matter, so you can literally just press absolutely anyone. If there's any important ones, of course, I will uh, pipe up and let you know. But for the most of it, you can just literally go as and what you want to pick. By the way, I think uh, anyone that's associated with Peter watching a koala bear smoke are probably going to have sort of um, PTSD flashbacks and things like that, aren't they? So, probably not the game for you if you, you know, bum animals that much. Mate, this sounds serious. Like the last time your ex client went nuts. Yeah, I'm I'm serious too. I'll handle this. No working furries, okay? Yeah, right. Why call devil? Mate. Fuck devil. I said I'll find Alice. I'll call you back. Okay, mate, be careful. Uh, mate, I'm here for you. I'm gonna find you, Alex. I'm gonna find you, Chucky. I'm coming for you. Where are my keys? Yes, Stone, you are right, mate. The keys are in the kitchen on the top of a pile of dirty dishes. So just grab that with the I Love Wrap keyring and then just head to the front door for more cutscene and dialogue. Now, I always laugh at anyone who has anything like that as a keyring. I love rap, and you know, they go out and they're like, haha, rap's so key, and then they go home and listen to, you know, heavy metal or, you know, classical bullcrap or something like that. Posers! Or, you know, the people who uh, wear I Love Rolling Stones t-shirts and Nirvana t-shirts, and they go, who is that? I don't know. 
Anyway, we are coming up to our first achievement now, so we go straight to the bar. And by the way, I'm not trying to offend. I was just merely saying that's what happens a lot. <laughs> Get out. So be very mindful of the dialogue options now. You can literally choose any one until we get to a choice where we can choose either soft touch or hard ass, which will be the one after this, I believe. And the first one we're going to be going for then is the right bumper option, which is hard ass. So we'll get, uh, we need to get two achievements, basically for saying one or the other. So here it is, soft touch, hard ass. You can choose literally whichever one you want because we'll be uh, quitting out now. As soon as the achievement unlocks, we'll quit out. Reload back in and then just choose the other option. Um, there's a lot of times throughout the game you can either soft touch or hard ass, but for some reason it only counts when we do it now. So the achievement will unlock as soon as the dialogue ends. you want to be told to leave? I'm not helping you. Aren't you the PI around here? Besides, I'll call Devil if you wreck the bar like last time. Yeah, all right. I'm just gonna have a look around. And there is that then, so quit out to the main menu, continue back in, you'll, uh, we'll start at the uh, very start of the bar then, obviously you'll have to go again just through the little bit of dialogue, but this time, whatever, cho whatever choice you just chose, obviously choose the opposite one, so I chose hard ass first, because I like being a nice guy, I don't have a hard ass, I got a squishy ass, squatter's ass, I mean, uh, I chose hard ass because on my playthroughs I like to be a nice guy and uh, you know, so I'm going to choose the nice option. But obviously remember, whatever you chose, just choose the opposite choice. What? What? Don't act stupid. Get out, furball. Hey, 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 I've changed, cocky. Yeah, and I'm the fucking queen. <laughs> yeah, I've missed you too, cocky. It's good to be back. <sighs> well, it's not mutual stone. Get out. Rack off. Get out of here, furball. Hey, I'm looking for... What? A falcon? A rug? Have you Spit seen it out. Alex? If I had, I wouldn't tell you, Stone. Look, someone trashed my flat. I can't find Alex anywhere. And I got a call saying Alex is gone. And you come for a drink? Ah, oh, come on, cocky. I need help. Be a helper here. Yeah, not my problem, Stone. Yeah, it is. See, I found a matchbox on our floor. It said Smoky Possum, and we weren't here. Now, I'm not leaving until you tell me what you know. How many times do you want to be told to leave? I'm not helping you. Ugh, aren't you the PI around here? Besides, I'll call Devil if you wreck the bar like last yeah, time. Yeah, all right. Look, I'm just going to... So there we are then, that you should now be two achievements richer, so congratulations, you can put the game down now if you want. Or if you just want to carry on, then we can get the rest of the achievements, which will always be handy. But we are we are needing to get her bartending license, which is, like you've just seen, right next to the bar. So what we need to do then, first, honestly, I thought you had to wait around 30 seconds to a minute, but it is all a case of interacting with other items around the room before that one becomes interactable. So I just interacted with the jukebox, which made the dartboard now interactable, and that will now make the bartender's license interactable. So go ahead, slam that up, and then, again, we'll have a soft touch or a hard-ass option. You can literally choose what you want, depending on how you feel. If you're pissed off, give her a hard-ass. If you feel nice, give her a soft touch. Hmm. That actually sounds really sexual, so that's funny. It's just not put up. But she's been noticing, Furball. Mate, seriously, it's been a rough as guts day. Quick drink and then I'm out of here. And we are very quickly coming up to our third achievement as well. So we are, even though we're banned and we've just been allowed to walk around, we are going to actually have a drink. Which is very nice of her, even though she looks like she could peck your pecker off with one peck. But this is, these are the options that you have to choose then. So, interact with her again. Choose cocktail. Very important to choose cocktail. Again, with the right bumper. And then choose the dude option. 
the right bumper, choose the dude option. And that will get us the, what's it called, the Russian dude? Sure. A white, <laughs> it's a white Russian, sorry, not the Russian dude, it's a white Russian, but that gets us an achievement as well. So, cocktail, dude, that order, that gives us the white Russian. We are pissed out of our head. And for someone who drinks a lot, apparently, um, it's pretty awful that he's already a bit tipsy. Although I can't say much, I'm a piece of trash when it comes to drinking. But now we can finally get out of the bar. Withholding evidence at the scene of the crime, Cocky, you'd be considered an accessory after the fact. Or, in plain English, Devil would have to get involved. Devil? I'd like to see Devil try. You're extorting me again, Stone. Look, you didn't hear this from me, but I eavesdropped a conversation last night. Some guy repeating Alex's name. He said Alex was shit-faced. Something went down. Alex? <laughs> Must be the club. Thanks, Cocky. Fuck you too, Stone. Hey, Cocky. Thanks for the drink and the info. Hey, Furball. Be good, and good things happen. Let's dance. Uh, yeah, so that's enough dancing. I'm knackered now. So we're going to the bar, which is on the left-hand side. A um, whole bunch of birds about, but we're going to be talking to Smiley the Crocodile, which is always hilarious. Or Alligator. I don't know. I don't know which. I don't know the bloody difference. they both got teeth, and they can both fudge it up. Again, any dialogue options do not matter here, so just carry on enjoying. And try not to order any drink or drugs as well while you're listening to this music, because that'll fudge you up. Dude, does it look like I'm joking? Fuck! Okay, okay, but why are you in my club? I heard Alex was here and that something went down. Yeah, it went down. Shit got crazy. No thanks to you. What happened here? I, I don't remember being here. What happened? The English band. What? The English band. What? The English band behind you. Hey, what is going on? Ah, oh, shit. You shouldn't have done that. Dance and come back, okay? Dance? What? Okay, mate, I'll dance. So we've been told to go dance. Um, I'm not sure if you actually have to dance, but <laughs> again, it's, it's always nice to see Stone just... I mean, man, he genuinely looks hilarious and I love it. So dance for a couple of seconds and then we'll head right to the very back next to these giant ass speakers. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that. I don't know why that kills me so much. Just stone dancing, but talk to the foxes, and then what we need to do is hastily make our exit. Well, not hastily, but we'll make our exit, and the foxes are gonna doorstep us anyway. I'm back. Are you still off your trolley? You spoke to them. You call yourself a P.I.? Bad news, Stone! Bad news! Mate, I'm so confused! What happened? You. Need. To. Leave! What? Stone! You need to go! Now! Lay off that stuff! I'll be back, mate! You come with us. No, I'm good, thanks, mate. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, okay. Let's talk. More talking. Ah, 
Seriously, guys, my eye. What are we doing here? I was expecting a nice office, not a closet. But I guess this is familiar for a bunch of pops. Is this a two bedroom? Yeah, nice joke, Teddy boy. But now it's time to talk. We came to get the money, Roy. Yeah, Roy. She said you had the money. So where's the fucking money, Roy? Whoa, 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 slow down, chaps. Who is Roy? Ah, we got a joker here. Hey, Roy, don't do this. Hey, hey, hey now, chaps. I'm not Roy. All right. We didn't come all the way from London for some fat teddy boy to give us the old runaround. You owe us the money. Get it? Yeah, thanks for the chat, chaps. I'm leaving now. You're not leaving, Roy. Oh, he's trying to chase a subject. Your wife says you have the money. Look at me. Do I look like I have money? Roy, stop screwing around. Chaps, my name is Stone. I am not Roy. Trust me. What do you think, fellas? Ah, he looks heavy. Yeah, but hey, boy, Teddy. You're the loser, the fight, chap. Eh? Is this the wrong guy? Ugh, this is the wrong guy. I know he was a rich prick in London. Fuck it, hell. This isn't Roy, is it? All right, let's get him something for his eye, lads. Maybe a fucking patch and a parrot. Ah, oh, finally. Next time, there's no need for the poke, chaps. I know you bug it, but that was unnecessary. What a day. Alex, how the bloody hell are you, babe? I miss you. So the last act was nice. We didn't have to do anything. And we barely have to do anything this time. We're just going to be heading straight to our bedroom and taking a cheeky little nap after being poked with fox dick in the eye. Nice one for the aids. Oh, it's not a good time. Can you call back later? Did you call Devil yet? Are you all right, mate? Uh, yeah, but of course, mate. Let's meet up, okay? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow the fuck down, Speedy. Look, let me get some sleep and then I'll swing by. Oh, where are you, Chucky? I miss you. Chucky? Ah, oh, find you, gorgeous. Just got diverted. Okay, okay, what would Alex do? Keep busy. Keep busy. Right, right, keep busy. Okay, time for the sport. Again, not an awful lot. All we're doing is heading to the back and talking to Les, the little dog. Little doggy dog. So we've got alligators, we've got koalas, a whole shit ton of birds, and a dog. I mean, is that, is that code for something? Like, you know, alligators eat birds? I don't know, I don't know. But we're talking to big Les. With the ball? Ball? Oh, really? I thought this was gold. Nah, it's soccer. Right now, mate. Let's yeah, talk. Look, I don't know what happened to Alex, and I got poked in the eye by some bloody palms. Palms, really? Tell me more. Yeah, look. So I got a call, right, saying I'll never see Alex again. It didn't tell me much, but but he trashed my flat, and the, the necklace was on the floor. Alex would never take it off. Oh, mate. Sorry. Was it the palm? No, 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 it, it wasn't a palm on the phone. Foxes, it was just a big misunderstanding. They thought I owed the money. Crazy, mate. Fucking crazy. So I've had a lot of time with the kids. Samantha's been busy with work. I have a theory. Uh, is it about Alex? 
It's gotta be the government. I heard they have drones now. When they're not selling our environment, they're spying. What if one of their drones stole Alex? What? Hey, you are a paranoid. Yeah, right, eh? So what now? I'm, I'm gonna find out what happened, drones or otherwise. I'm surprised you're doing so good. If I lost Samantha, I'd be a wreck. Oh, look, Chucky, it's my everything, mate. Sorry, I didn't mean to cause anything. You should call Devil. It's getting rough for you. I'm worried. Samantha's worried. Mate, mate, look, I'm gonna smash this. Tell your Sheila to settle. All right, watch yourself, okay? Feels like this is a sink or swim moment. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, and you know what? I'm fucking surfing this. Oi, Stone! Shut up and get over here. You're under arrest. Bring him in, guys. And now we feeling like we could have go fly to the moon Like all of my friends be looking so fly and so cool Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch it out I got this feeling, man I... So that's Act 1 done in roughly around 20 minutes. Now we're on to Act 2, Part 1. And now we're talking to Officer Devil. But, um, yeah, just a case of choosing any dialogue option you want. Nothing too difficult right now. Guy gigs. I ask the questions. You're in trouble. Wait, you, you didn't just notice that I got poked in the eye? Answer the questions, Stone. Look, somebody took Alex and trashed my flat. Oh, plus I got poked in the eye by a bunch of foxes. Foxes? How many of them? H how many what? Stop playing around, Stone. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if you can count above two. I'm serious, Stone. So am I. I've seen your police work. You want jail time? Three of them. Nice. You're going to wear a wire. What? Is that a joke? Take it or leave it, Stone. This is what they taught us not to do at police school. Yeah, and I passed. Remember that? Yeah, this is a bad move, Devil, even for you. I know what I'm doing, private investigator. Yeah, school isn't everything. You know the reason I failed. Nothing to do with my skill. Everything to do with your attitude. Here's the deal. You're the number one suspect for missing person, Alex. However, if you cooperate and assist us, we might follow a different line of inquiry. Right, so it's a you help me, I help you kind of deal? The foxes are who we want. Don't make this hard. I'll help afterwards. Yeah, you'd better, devil. Always a pleasure, Stone. This first, then Alex. What? Alex is missing! Bigger stuff, Stone. I can't help now, and knowing you, it's nothing. You really are a renaissance cop, you know that, devil? Do you really want jail time, Stone? Nah, mate. Don't like the bars in there. You're a joke, Stone. No, I'm an investigator. No, I'm the investigator. I'm a police detective. You're a PI, helping lost pets and cheating partners. This isn't like one of your books. You're right. In the books, the PI and the cops work together, not against each other. So now we are coming up to another missable achievement. This is the first time we get to see the mini-map and what we'll be doing is heading straight for the Orion Cinema. There's nothing that we have to do here, we literally just have to click on it and we'll start watching the film and then we can exit. That is literally it. But this mini-map is only available from now, which is Act 2. Again, you can choose absolutely any film. Um, witchcraft Through the Ages, that always sounds like a piece of laugh. Hmm? Got to be a laugh, haven't it? And then you realise that it's probably not, so we're going to get our ass out. I assume the hours an hour, uh, the film's an hour and forty-five, so I assume you could just watch the whole film if you really wanted. But <laughs> I do, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll let's get our fat asses out of here. So 
so now then we are done with that we can now head to the echo club again and what we'll be doing again is just talking to smiley the alligator which is on the bar on the left hand side um, and that's it that's all we're doing in there and then we can go home straight after Whoa! Stone! What's with the patch? I got mistaken for someone else by those foxes! Seriously, Stone! I told you to leave! A lot! Yeah, look, what was with the English band thing last time? I was trying to talk in code! Mate, I'm a PI, not an Enigma machine! Not much of a PI either, it seems. You've been unlucky, Stone. You good? Mate, when life gives you lemons, paint that shit gold. Do you know who the Poms were? No clue. They said they were looking for somebody. Who were they looking for? Uh, some guy named Roy. He must come here. If I see those foxes again, I'll call security. Yeah, that'd be a big help. Let me know too. All right, listen up. Was Alex involved in it? Alex wasn't. But Alex did leave with somebody. What? Where to? Who was it? Uh, not sure. Alex seemed to be okay. Like, it wasn't forced. Well, then that means it's somebody that Alex or I know. Uh, I'll retrace the steps. Something will pop up. You look out of it, too. Maybe relax and Alex will come find you. Yeah, all right, all right. I get you. Look, if Alex comes here, let me know. I will, Stone. Chill out and get some rest. Things will be okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll go to the flat and get some rest. What happened to Chucky? What am I missing? Huh? Who's there? Yeah, so this time it's not as easy as uh, going to you? bed. We need to go ahead and check the kitchen noise, as you can see. So head to the kitchen what? and prepare to have a laugh. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why, but this bit is banging. Hey, who is it? Who's in my bloody kitchen? Hey, Dick! Well, what the... Did that toaster just talk? Nah, I'm here to help, Dick. Dick? What? Oh, I'm out of it again. Or maybe on another level. Nah, uh, I'm going to sleep. This is too much. Yeah, wait, Dick. You want to know where to find Alex? What, what is this? I don't eat... Wait, uh, who's Dick? You're stupid. You're a dick. <laughs> Even my toaster thinks I'm a dick. Nah, Dick, as in detective. You're a private eye, right? Uh, yeah, I am a PI. Told ya, you're a dick. <laughs> nice one, yeah. So, tell me then, where's Alex? Alex is God. No shit, Sherlock. Something from the past always helps to reveal the future. Philosophical toaster, and I thought I'd seen it all. Hey mate, it's Nigel. Call me Nigel. <laughs> Nigel, my toaster's name is Nigel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Thanks, mate. Uh, I'm going to sleep. And remind me to buy you a kettle. Yeah, wow. Well, that was weird. Although, maybe the bastard has a point. Nigel, I'm trying to sleep. Cook toast in the morning. Ugh. Chucky, tomorrow I'm coming for you. So, Stone's losing his head that much, we now have a friend called Nigel the Toaster. And there's probably, if a toaster ever spoke to me, there's probably so many unanswered questions he's gonna have to answer. Like, 
I don't know. Why do you get so crummy? Why do you always burn when I put you on for just two minutes or two degree level of toastiness? I, d I don't know. I bet people have a lot more questions when they were laying in bed awake at night until 4am with all kinds of qu crazy ass questions like this. Maybe it'll help my befuddlement. Lousy desert, lousy speck in the distance. Smells like dust and burnt tar here. Far cry from old town. This fiery sun, Alex. This fiery sun. So this bit may potentially be a little bit confusing. Um, you think that we'll be able to just uh, flip the switch here, but actually what we need to do is follow the wires. There's nothing we can interact with, so we'll just have to follow the wires, which are on the two sort of speakers. Um, just sort of walk up against it, walk up against the two wires, up against the speakers, and then come back and then flip the switch. Uh, this did take me a, a little while, I'll admit, because I just I didn't realise what we were bloody doing. So just follow the wires. I went with I went with the left one first and then the right one. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but yeah, that's all we got to do is just sort of walk your big fat gut into the speaker, uh, and that's it. There's no interaction button. So you'll hear, I think you should hear a little noise when you go up against it as well to sort of indicate that it's on. <laughs> So there we go then. So that's on now. Go back to the sort of giant ass switch. The TV will come on and this uh, drug induced dream sequence will end. It's not drugs, but it might as well be. Hmm, what does this mean? Ask Cocky who Alex's new friend is. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? and the evidence of our eyes lead to the inescapable assumption that those strange beings who landed in the Jersey farmland tonight are the vanguard of an invading army from the planet Mars. So that was the end of Act 2, and, you know, speaking of drugs, this next, the... the title for the start of Act 3, I genuinely thought it did say drugs as well, so that just confused the crap out of me for just two seconds there. Um, but there's nothing, I get, there we go, post-dream drugs, I thought that said. I thought, Christ, I was right. But almost not at all. So what we're going to be doing then is just having a little conversation before we head out again on the phone. Back to the possum. Any news, Stone? Uh, hello? Hello? Sorry, bad connection. Stop screwing around. Sorry, sorry, can't hear you. Can you hear me? Listen, I'm here to help, okay? Yeah, yeah, all right, mate. Nah, there's no news, devil. I'll handle it. Is there it. something you know more than me? Yeah, I probably know a lot more. Still the same smart ass as in school. Call me if you need me. Yeah, I'll call you. Life isn't a joke, Stone. Take this seriously. Mate, I know, but it's easier if it is. So then, we are coming up to another missable achievement right here. Now, what I advise you to do, basically, we're going to head to the Echo Club. Because the achievement is we've got to dance to, um, uh, bloody dance music, or techno, sorry, we've got to dance to techno at the Echo Club. But it's not always on. So what I advise you to do is go to the Echo Club now. If it's not on and the achievement doesn't unlock, simply head out the exit and go back into the Echo Club and just keep doing that until the achievement unlocks. For me, it did unlock first time, luckily. It might unlock for you first time, it might not. To be honest, it all sounds the bloody same to me, doesn't it? it personally. But, um, yeah, so that's what I just do, just to get this bit out of the way then. So, if you haven't unlocked it now, just exit and go back into the Echo Club. The music will change every time you're in there and then just get that Berliner achievement before we head to the old Smoko Possum. Smoky Possum, sorry. i got to stop talking like crap, sorry. Mr. Pillai! 
right. You know you're still banned, right? Hey, I, I was just in the desert and I spoke to Nigel and the TV mentioned your name. What? What, what are you... What happened to your eye? I got mistaken for someone else. <laughs> Who would mistake you? I wish I knew. So why are you here? What do you want, Stone? Did Alex come here with someone new? What do you mean? I think whoever took Alex is someone we knew or someone Alex knew. Was Alex here with someone? No. You guys stopped coming here after I banned you. Remember? Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, maybe the TV in the sand, man. Smiley! Ah, thanks, Cocky. What are you? What are you? Are you alright? Okay, alright. Glad I could help you, Stone. Huh. Cheers, mate. Uh, can you throw in a shot? Uh, no. That's not happening. Hey, cheers, Cocky. No workers, Stone. One thing. Do you miss Alex? Every bloody minute, mate. Every bloody minute. Alex, I'm home. Hey, Bear. Chucky. How was work? Another affair and sitting in a motel car park. Only one of us can be the artist, and you've definitely got the looks. But you're a comedian. No, just an artist who's deeply in love. Yeah, my artist, and the best that I know. Love your art, Shooky. It's just not working on the canvas. Hell, I'd buy it right away, to be honest. <laughs> Don't mock me, Bear. Nah, I reckon Cocky would love it at the bar. How much should we charge? I don't think Cocky could afford it. <laughs> You're dreaming. You said you didn't want to work anymore, right? Yeah, yeah, true. All right, let's sell it Blue Pole style. What do you want, Bear? Be immortal and die. Nice one, Goddard. I just want to burn bright and die young. Broke, beautiful and free. Hey Alex, let's agree to live long. Don't eat the halloumi or tofu. What? Why? It's for Christmas Day. Oh yeah. Whoops. Sun surf from Santa, here we come. Hey Chucky, keen to watch it again? This movie? With you, Bear? Of course. I love you, Stone. Yeah, you too. So, there we go then. So, if you didn't know whether Alex was a boy's name or a girl's name, it's a boy's name. Oh, a little stony gay koala, and that is cute as hell. I like it. But a koala and a bird are banging. Uh, well, not anymore, apparently, because he's been kidnapped, but we're just going to head to the Echo Club. Um, this third act is basically, honestly, just a whole lot of talking, which, uh, well... Probably better than my bloody voice talking all the time, isn't it? I know you're happy with that. Looking better, Stone. Good rest? Nah, I argued with my toaster. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's weird, but not surprising for you. Oi, listen up. I've been smashing every trace, nailing every clue. You didn't tell me everything. Whoa, slow down, Stone. I've told you everything. Who did Alex leave with? I told you, Stone. I don't know. Just trying to run my club, remember? Yeah, I remember. How about the Poms? I don't know who the Brits are. 
But I know they're bad news. Then I need to find a way to meet them again. Can you let them know? No way, Stone. I don't want them here. Your problem, pal. Well, fuck you too, mate. What about Alex? Don't get me wrong. I, I love Alex. But the foxes are bad news. And I've got enough problems with Devil. Oh, come on. Hey, I'm sorry, Stone. I'll help how I can. Yeah, thanks. Catch you later. Hello again, Giza. Come with us. Now. Ah, g'day, chaps. I've been looking for you. Telling us porky pies, Roy. Where's the money, Roy? You're a liar, Roy! Hey, EastEnders, I'm not Roy. We know the truth now, Teddy boy. We told you not to go to the old bill. We are making a big mistake, Roy. Listen, morons, I'm Stone, not Roy. Snitches get stitches, Roy. He's a dodgy little bastard! You owe us money, Roy. Where's the fucking money? Your wife paid. Now it's your turn. Guys, I'm gay. What? Roy, he definitely had a wife. Why the fuck do you think I'm Roy? He's not Roy, is he? Yeah, I'm not Roy. Oh fuck, it's not him. You had a wife. But you abandoned her, Roy, didn't you? Stop trying to scam us, Roy. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Stop yapping off like a bunch of wankers. Not happening, Roy. Time to up the ante. No more fucking games, Roy. Guys, this isn't Lockstock, and I'm not bloody Roy. Are you deaf, Sunshine? This is over. Yeah, thanks for coming, Roy. You're not leaving again. Let's fuck up that lying piece of shit! Hey, 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 guys! Calm down. This is not the way to go. It's the only way for you now, you fucking daddy fuck. You should never have left London, Roy. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Open the door right now! This is Detective Devil. It's over, Foxes. You're all under arrest. Sweet dreams, Roy! God damn, those foxes are annoying little assholes, isn't they? Good God. Go away and stop poking your penis in my eye. It already hurts from the other day. So, now we're on to Act 4. So, yes, as you've seen, Act 3 was predominantly just speaking. Not really a lot to do. And as we enter Act 4... <laughs> I, I don't know, I think we're in another LSD, vodka, gin, rum-infused, legendary trip. But here we go, so there's not a lot to do to be honest, all we got to do is just follow the video, follow where I go, it's pretty obvious where we need to be going anyway, um, but it is the big yellow duck that we're going to be heading to first. What? Nah, this isn't real. I know Alex is missing. Have you questioned it? What are you blabbing about, mate? Let this Pass. I think you should go to someone good with questions. Devil? Hello? You still there? Wacky is mine now.
Nigel needs a friend. This is a masterpiece. Never seen this movie like this before. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch this. Did I end up here? Ah, ah, that was like El Topo this time. Mate, Stone, how's your head? You feeling better? Ready to bowl? Ah, let's you chuckle, fuck. Ah, I just woke up again, and I've got no idea what happened again. Righto, sorry. Devil saved you, mate. She called me up and got me to take you home. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, god. Damn it! She's never gonna let me live this down. She got the palms too. Supposedly some crims from London. Uh, yeah, they uh, definitely hit like one. Rest up, mate. Sorry to wake ya. No, 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 not until I find Alex. All right, Stone. I'll be at the sport if you need me. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll come around soon. I need Les to tell me more. Again, everything was relatively easy, wasn't it, me old muckers? But now we're just heading to the old town balls. We're going to be talking to Les. Basically, we're going to be sort of coming to an end now. We're start starting to unravel the mystery of what in the hell has happened, yo. Not good. Mate, you look like you're gonna chunder. Yep, yep. I got decked real hard. Tell me about Alex. Yeah, I miss him, Les. I miss him too, mate. You all right? Stop sweating, mate. Samantha's been asking about you. The ankle biters are missing their Uncle Stone too. Yeah, I appreciate it, Les. You've helped me through it all. My mum, the academy, this. I, I know I can be an asshole, but I'm trying. So, so what happened? Devil must have been following. She arrived and got them. I told her that she could help. Yeah, she helped that. Not me finding Alex, though. She told me she had some info for you, too. You should see her. Yeah, maybe. She'll be snobby, though. That's true. You've been one unlucky bloke, mate. Yeah, but things have got to get better, right? Yeah, mate, for sure. Yeah. It'll crack. I'll be here when you need me. Samantha says we should have a pool party at ours too. Hey, sounds bloody lovely. First I find Alex, and then we'll all have a barbie. So for Act 4 then, you see Alex on the left hand side, what we actually need to do then is just use the jukebox and then go and sit down at the bar, then you will speak to Alex again, have a long conversation, and then the next act will start. I mean, everything's fairly obvious in this game, you probably didn't need me to tell you what to do, you know, it always says the objective and everything, but, you know, I like to interact with my subscribers, because you're all sure. goddamn beautiful, Coming right up. So and I love you. Lonely tequila, huh? I'm fine. It's just a bad day, mate. 
I'm sorry. That's rough. It, it was my mum's funeral today. Oh, that's awful. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, thanks. I'll, I'll be right. Here you go. On the house. To your mum. Yeah, to my mum. I couldn't help but over here. I'm... I'm so sorry for your loss. Do you need a drinking buddy? I'm Alex. Hey, uh... My mates call me Stone. Stone? That's a name? Why do your mates call you Stone? It's... it's the truth. My last name is Stone. Huh. Okay. So what do you do? I'm a private investigator. I track down people. Well, I try to track down people. Like in the movies? I've never met a detective before. What about you? I work with canvases. I'm an artist. So, like, unemployed? No. I create and try to draw meaning out of life. Fair enough. Sounds a bit like me. I like to write. Really? I'd like to read you one day. I haven't seen you here before. Yeah, I'm actually just visiting from London. Welcome to Old Town, Stone. More like, welcome back. I'm from here. So, a London private eye. And you know what else is special about you? It's that look. I like you, Stone. You look like trouble. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind a reasonable amount of trouble. I can tell. Stone, I've had some rough times myself recently. Best bit of advice I got is to live on for them. Well, time to live on, I guess. I was about to leave. This may be a weird time to ask. Do you like techno? I know a place. I'm not into Dorf. I'm really not into Dorf. Time to live, Stone. I'm taking you clubbing. What now, Stone? Were you following me? Yeah. We got this fancy drone tech nowadays. Ah, uh, you must be joking. No. I'm serious. Look, what do you know what about you Alex? Want? You're smarter than this, Stone. What do you mean? We checked. Alex isn't missing. He's in town. Uh, this, this is even more fucked up than I thought. I'd be pissed off too. But it's not going to help you, Stone. Ah! This is fucked. I'll find Alex. Stone. Just settle down. Us detectives need to help each other out, right? Yeah, 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 we do. Cheers, devil. But now I'll find Alex. Somebody's lying, and now I'm gonna find out who. <laughs> Yo, always in there looking for an A, yo My soul for the money that is paid for But really we just all up in the same bro I don't know it's the same song Your pity isn't something that I came for We both know who to pull the A for Till we get the chainsaw We will stay alone at the play phones And it's a shame on me So then that rather abruptly, abruptly, abruptly ended Act 4, so now we're into Act 5, we start immediately in the smoky old possum. Uh, again, you're going to have a long conversation with old uh, Cocky right here, big old tiny pecker. And then there's only one thing to do, and that is to go to the end, to the back side, uh, to the back side, to the back of the bar. And you remember where we seen the jukebox earlier and the dartboard? Well, next to that is a like a big hanging frame thing with a black circle on it. Just interact with that, and then that is our time done, right? Yeah. Fuck! I'm trying to run a hot ass venue here, Stone, and you're constantly coming in, yelling, interrogating, and totally ruining my vibe. 
You are banned. Remember? Okay. Look, just just give me a minute to think. Why are you hiding, Alex? Why do all this? What did I do? What did you do? Uh, I'm I'm sorry, Cocky. I, I'm I'm just upset. Yeah, I get that. But why take it out on me? Grow up, Furball, and use your fucking brain. Yeah, I'm trying. Why would Alex lie? What do you mean? Well, you're the biggest reckless fuckbag I know. You did something. Yeah, okay, maybe I did. Doesn't make it right though, does it? Hey, Les, quick chat. Mate, you know the rules. Fuck the rules. We need to talk. Shit, okay, let's talk. Devil told me Alex isn't missing. Where's Alex? What, really? I don't know anything, Stone. Nothing at all? Uh, actually... Well, a while don't ago, leave me in suspense. Alex, did say Alex something told to Sam. Sam he wasn't happy with you anymore. He said you'd become selfish. He was unhappy? Sorry, mate. I really thought he got taken. It didn't matter if he's upset at you or not. I just don't get why he would leave like that, have someone call me and fuck me over. Yeah, shit, I'm sorry. I, I really thought next client did something. Or the government. Yeah, me too. We'll crack this one, mate. I know, Les. I just don't know if I want to know why. Speak with Smiley, mate. You knew Alex Burke. You've seen Alex. I know he's not missing. Whoa, fuck. Chill. I don't know what you're talking about. Mate, I know. Okay. So you figured it out. He made me promise. And I've known him longer what than you. you. actual fuck, mate. You're as fucked up as him. Lying to my face that he's been kidnapped. I'm sorry, Stone. I'm just stuck in the middle here. Ah, this is all so fucked! Tell me why! He... he said it was something you did. Was it the money? Not sure, Stone. It was also Brad. Brad? Brad? Who the fuck is Brad? I like you, Stone. But... it's clearly done. And... this is none of my business. Tell Alex! Meet me at our flat, and I want to end this right. I'll try to tell him. He doesn't want to see you, Stone. I'd say move on. I will, after Alex and I finish this right. So this is definitely a short act, um, but now we're going to see exactly, exactly what has happened. Now we've unraveled the mystery, we're going to see exactly what happened. Be prepared to cry! Well, probably not cry, but... 
prepare to be surprised, or maybe not surprised, since, you know, every PI in every video game ever is an alcoholic mess. Chucky, where you at? Ah, uh, key go here. You're out of it again. Yeah, true. I tried to reach you at work today, too. You lost your fucking job. Something about London? Fuck. I, I was going to tell you, but, but I knew you'd be mad. I'm so angry with you. You lied. Give, give me time. You're always lying. I'll, I'll start my own PI firm. They were holding me back. And he said to me, you're worthless. Uh, who did? Brad. Who the fuck is Brad? I used to love you, but you've ruined it all. You're not even going to remember this, Stone. What, what, what are you saying? It's over. Please, Alex, just chill out. There's no need to be over the top. You're better than this, Stone. I can't keep doing this. You keep making the same bloody mistakes and I can't be a part of it anymore. We can talk about this in the morning. I can't fucking do this anymore. Fuck, oh, Alex. Please, give me a break. I have been. You promised you'd try. Yeah, I, I know. But things change. Yeah, they do. Like me and like us. We're done. Uh, please, let's just talk in the morning. I won't be here. I can't be here anymore. Keep your fucking present too. Domestic! Awkward. So there we go then. So we've unraveled the mystery. Kind of, um... Kind of un <laughs> slightly underwhelming, to be honest. So he lied to Stone to get out of a relationship instead of saying, you're a pisshead and I'm out of here, mate. There we go. But now we find out who and why. A uh, little, little bit of explanation. And the game basically ends, but we'll have a little bit to do after. Oh, who the fuck is Brad? Brad wanted to hurt you. Like how you hurt me. Stone. I'm not coming Please. back. Give me a second chance, Chucky. You promised me, Stone. You said you'd try. I believed in you. I loved you. But you did it again. Do you I even remember? keep making the same mistakes. We already broke up. Well, that's new for a change. What happened to your eye? Uh, a bunch of foxes jumped me. I'm sorry to hear that. It's over. This is goodbye, Roy. I'm going to change, Alex. I love you. I'm going now. And you know what, Roy? I loved you. But no love is worth living a lie. You've lied over and over again, and I'm not happy. I don't want to pretend to be uh, anymore. Don't call me Roy. It's Stone. Always call me Stone. It's over, Roy. Lie to someone else. Nothing's ever really over, Alex. You just try to forget. I used to love your way with words. You should share it, you know. You've got more to share than you think. Ooh, and it turns out we are Roy after all. Oh my god, so the foxes were right. But that's fine. It's going to be a little bit sad here. You know, he's going to start crying and stuff. Wee. But... Any Australians watching this, do you have any seedy sex places our friend Roy Stone can go to? Not for me, I swear. I don't even live in Australia, so... But then again, if I ever did visit... I mean, uh, nothing. So, <laughs> but what's going to happen now is basically it's going to be about four or five minutes of credits. Of course, I've cut that down to save quite a bit of time. Um, but we've still got a few achievements and things to, left to get afterwards. 
So, yeah, just uh, sit through the credits for a couple of minutes, and then this is after the credits. You'll have a little conversation, and then we'll need a little bit of epilogue to do. Alex found me. Case solved. We're over, and it's fine. I'm sorry to hear that. You okay? Uh, I'll write a story about this. I feel like I've got more to share than I think. I'll be around, Liz. And, hell, maybe I will go on that trip. So this is the epilogue then. All we have to do now is basically go to each sort of place and apologize to everyone that we've been a massive old schlong to in the past. So we'll always see in the right uh, right top hand corner there, so the objective. So it'll be the Smoky Possum first, and then it'll be the Echo Club, I think. But either way, just go to each place and just apologize because your schlong was on the wrong hong in the end. That was awful. The prodigal PI returns. Something else happened I should know about, Stone? What? I thought we were past that. After you extorted me after not being here for months, accused me of just being downright rude, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I was just hoping to hang out and chat. All right. I'm listening. Anything else? A, a drink. So much for a chat. Patience, Cocky. We'll get to that. One world-class cocktail. Now that's more of a conversation starter. What do you fancy? A dude. So, Cocky, why do you always try to kick me out? Well, I'm trying to make this world class. You're not stunned. Oh, as in the coolest? Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, so why ban me? You're self-important, rude, ignorant, and you don't learn. Hey, you forgot hilarious and handsome. Ha! You're antisocial. I want the smoky possum to be the best. And you push my customers away, Stone. Yeah, I guess I can piss others off. Are you kidding? Yeah, I know. I'm an asshole. So that's why, Stone. All right, uh, I'll tell you why. I'll be less of a dropkick if you agree to not ban me anymore. Oh, yeah? What's in it for me? I swear on my PI license. It's the only thing I have. You're licensed? <laughs> How did that happen? Fuck. Fine. If it means less interrogating. You're not banned anymore. Okay? Fuck yeah. yeah Alright, to kick off some goodwill, I'm going to write an email. An email? What are you talking about? I met a bar reviewer at Echo a while ago. Don't ask, but he owes me. Oh yeah? I'm listening. I'll tell him this bar is top shelf. It should help the world-class plan. Well, when I see it, I'll believe it. But I appreciate it, Stone. Hey, we're mates. Anything you need, just ask. You know, a free shot would be good. Don't push your luck. Thanks again, Stone. You know, sometimes you're a pretty great bloke. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, hey? I'll try to make it always. Good surprise to see you, mate. I hope you're feeling better. 
let's roll. So, what's cracking? Hey, Les, how's Samantha? Samantha's good, super busy. She's the provider, you know. Yeah, what a Sheila. Yeah. I want to propose, finally. Wow, that's huge news, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. I don't know her ring size. I, I don't know, mate. Calm down, it'll be all right. I know, Stone, but I fucking suck at this. Hey, hey, she'll say yes. You'll be all right. Oh, mate, I hope so. Les, 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 I have an idea. Oh, really? You have an idea? Oh, tell me, what is it? I reckon you propose with flowers. What? Flowers? Seriously? So, my dad proposed with flowers. He didn't know what to get Mum. He knew she wouldn't like it, so he went with flowers. No pressure. And then you and Sam can figure out the rest. Mate, that's genius! This is great! You're a PI and a romantic. I get it now. Why all the guys like you? Yeah, I'm a charmer sometimes. Oh, thanks, Stone. I'm really glad you dropped by. No worries, Liz. Hey, I'm I'm sorry it's it's been a bit one-sided recently. Mate, you've had it rough. No worries at all. Let's lock in the pool party. Rippers would love to see you. Yeah, hey, uh, good luck. And invite me to the wedding, mate. Seriously, Devil? In here again? I like to keep it professional. Look, I was hoping to chat. I was hoping you'd get to the point. No more back and forth. What happened to us? You mean us working together? Well, the fact is, you're lousy at what you do. Oh, come on. Let's figure this out. All right. I'm listening. Let's work together. Be a team. You did good, Stone. But it won't work. I'm a... Yeah, yeah, I know. You're a police officer and I'm nothing. Nah, you're a PI. And a good one at that when you're not unhinged. At the academy, we were always competing. But the law's the law. You're private and I'm public. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. Yeah, it was fun, mate, but I'll get going. Hold up, Stone. And don't give up so easily. Officially... I can use people to assist. Wanna team up? Yeah, that'd be fucking bonza, devil. I've got more time now, so this would All be right. great. We can team up. Cheers, devil. You truly are a renaissance cop. You're truly an asshole, Stone. Yeah, well, if you see one in the mirror every day, you could learn how to spot one on sight, right? Yeah, look, I'll let you get back to work. It, it always took you a bit longer to figure things out. Rubbish. I was always quicker. <laughs> sure, devil. Sure. Look who it is. I didn't figure I'd see you back here, Stone. Yeah, the past is the past. I actually dig Dorf now. So you've actually got taste now. That's good. What can I get you? It, it's ironic, but I'm here to chat. Well, what's up, Stone? How's the real world treating you? This is my life. I got three clubs. Artist coordination from Finland, accounting, legal, constant grog orders, and I play on Fridays. 
That's unfucking believable. Yeah. You know why? Yeah, it's your fire, right? It's not about me. It's about the crowd. If I can give them one night they'll never forget, it's worth it. It was my dream to have a club like this when I was a kid. No idea I'd end up in Oz to do it, though. Hey, I never knew. You're a bloody legend. That's really generous of you. Everyone's got a dream and desire, Stone. It was tough. I lost a lot. Screwed up. But every mistake I made, I fixed it. And just kept moving. Nice, mate. I I'm really chuffed for you. And maybe things will work out for me, too. I'm a lucky guy. But you know what? Dream bigger, man. Every time you win, dream bigger. Sorry about the whole Alex thing, Stone. You're a handsome bear, man. You'll find someone else. Yeah. Cheers, Smiley. I finally see what Alex saw in you. You're an okay guy. Ah, I'm a bastard, Smiley. But I like to think I have a good heart. You do, Stone. Enjoy my club. And come back whenever you want. So there we have it then, that is the game finished, but we do still have one more achievement left to get, and that is for drinking it all. And all we have to do then is just head back to the Smoky Possum, order a drink, and that will then be the full 1,000 out of 1,000. So there we have it, congratulations then guys and gals, I hope this guide has helped, and that once again, we've had a nice few laughs, because, you know, we always do. Well, I do. You probably get annoyed with whatever the hell I talk about, but I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I hope this guide has helped in you getting another cheeky easy 1,000. But again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Again, if it did help, you know, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, again, check me out on all my social medias, Twitter and Instagram. And I will be on a lot more eventually, but right now... I cannot be asked. Uh, check me out on Patreon as well. I'll be doing a lot more over there in terms of giveaways and things and other exciting projects that I have upcoming. But that is that then. So thank you very, very much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.